Hello friend, I'm just sitting here along the Burdan River in southeast Turkey. And just a quick historical fact about this river, when Alexander the Great was traveling through here, he said uh, that he wanted to take a bath here in the river. And this river comes out of the Taurus Mountains, it's a very cold river. And supposedly after he bathed, he actually caught pneumonia. And that was the cause of his death, and he died at a very young age, supposedly because he took a bath here in this river. But we're not here to find Alexander the Great. We've been on a journey the last couple of weeks here in Turkey to try to find key locations that deal with the life of the Apostle Paul. So I want to show you on a map where we are right now and to see what we can uncover here in the, the life of Paul. As most people do who come into Turkey, they usually land up here in Istanbul, modern day Istanbul, Constantinople for the uh, history buffs out there. There is Ephesus and Kusadesi, modern day Kusadesi. Um, Smyrna is right here in Izmir. Bergama, which is the ancient church of, of Pergama. Exahir, Thyatira. There's Philadelphia. And then you have Laodicea. Um, and Sardis is right there in the city of Tarsus, a long ways away from the western side. But we're here today to, to see if there's any archaeological remains in Tarsus that tie back to the time of the Apostle Paul. So that's our mission today as we go out and see what we can find here. So we're going to bring you along and see what we can over, uncover here in the ancient city of Tarsus. Wow. As you can see, the modern city of, of Tarsus is built over the ancient cities and uh, they've uncovered just a little bit here of the ancient road that went right through town. The colonnaded structure that you see on the far side was probably a little bit later than the life of Paul, but um, the volcanic black rock of the road has dated to at least Paul, if not even 100 or 200 years earlier than that. But it's, it's amazing to see things that interact with the biblical story. And we have a lot of things with the Apostle Paul um, in the text, but we don't have a lot of details concerning his early years of you know, wh how, where he was born. Uh, we know he's in Tarsus, but other than that, very few details. But Jerome, one of the early church fathers, does write some about him. And uh, we know that Paul was born into a Jewish family. And Jerome writes that originally his parents lived in Galilee um, in a town called Geshala. Well, when Rome came in, they took captive a lot of the people in Galilee and brought them and sold them up here as slaves. And most likely what happened, Paul's parents then were slaves. And when their owner passed away, they were manumitted or, or set free. And he also says, even before the Sanhedrin, he will say that I'm a Pharisee of a Pharisee. Currently, he considers himself a Pharisee. So this family would have been very religious, uh, very righteous, but also had this zealous streak, which we see come out in Paul as he's persecuting Christians of, of trying to keep the godliness but in doing so is squelching this early Christian movement. But right here would have been probably streets that Paul would have been walked on here in Tarsus as a young boy. Might be an old church. Yeah. It's hard to see. There's a Corinthian capital right there. We were just driving in the backside of, of Tarsus and I looked out. My map was leading me astray. And in the process we found an old, uh, some archeological remains, probably close to the first century. So we've been driving around the modern city of Tarsus, which is built on top of the ancient city. It's probably 15, 20 feet below where we're walking and driving. One of the things that's interesting about him is why does his parents send him to Jerusalem as a young boy? Because it says that he becomes a disciple of Gamaliel. And with Gamaliel, he is probably one of the most intellectual of the rabbis that we know. It's probably close to the time of Christ. There is a chance that Paul would have been in Jerusalem close before or after um, the time of Christ. But uh, really not too much to see here. Our next stop is moving over to where Paul is commissioned with Barnabas, and that'll be in uh, Antioch of Syria. So that's gonna be our next destination. And hopefully uncover more of this uh, life of Paul and here in Turkey. Thank you for traveling with us as we tried to find the birthplace of Apostle Paul in the city of Tarsus, but 
If you click here, you can join us as we travel all the way down to the Syrian border to try to find the city where this new movement was first called Christians in Antioch of Syria. See you there.